Jeremiah 33, verses 2 through 3, with the children just saying, Thus says the Lord who made the earth, the Lord who formed it and established it. The Lord is his name. Call to me, and I will answer you. And I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. I think sometimes we, we treat prayer a lot like this microphone. We think prayer time is time for us to announce to God all the things that we want Him to know about our lives. But God says prayer is not like that. Prayer is more like this telephone. The telephone is a two-way communication device. Does it bug you whenever you call someone and they don't answer? <laughs> yeah, it does. God says, call to me and I will answer. And he doesn't say, tell me things I don't know about you. He says, call to me and I will answer you. And I will tell you things that you never knew. You know, God is still speaking today. He spoke long ago to His holy prophets. And they wrote down His words in the Scripture. But He's still speaking today. And He's speaking to you. Through the words of these children. Through the message that they've shared. Through the songs that they've sang. But each and every day He wants to speak to you. As you kneel in prayer, you bow your heart and your head in prayer. And you go to His Word. He wants to show you new and wonderful things that you never knew about Him. And He's a big God. The most important thing that He wants you to know is that He loved you enough that He sent Jesus, His one and only Son, to die on the cross in your place to take the penalty for your sin so that you could have His righteousness and live forever in heaven with Him. Do you believe that? Will you bow your head and close your eyes? Father, forgive us for whenever we talk a lot about you, but we don't talk to you. Forgive us when we come to the place of prayer and we tell you all kinds of things thinking that you don't know when you know everything that we need before we ask. Lord, help us to listen to You. Help us to hear Your words for us. Father, help us to be the people that You've called us to be. And Lord, today, if there's one that doesn't know You, that hasn't trusted You as Lord and Savior of their life, I pray that today they would trust You. They would put their life in Your hands. And not just this life, but their eternity in your hands. And that they would be saved from the wrath to come. Because they've put faith in Jesus. Lord, would you use the rest of this time, Lord, to move in our hearts. Convict us of our need of you. Go with these children the remainder of this time. We thank you for them and all that they've done for you. We give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you could be seated. From, hey, good job, kids. You did so great. So good. Thank you for sharing with us the message of eternal life in Jesus' name. John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then in verse 12, But to all who did receive Him, who believed in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. You know what that means? If you're, if you're a child... That God will never kick you out of His house. He loves His children. And one day, we'll be able to be with Him forever if we know Him. If we believed in Jesus, the one whom God sent. In verse 14, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory. Glory as the one and only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a time of invitation. And this time of invitation is time for you to receive this gift of salvation that Jesus 
has given us through his death, burial, and resurrection on the cross. So Cody's going to come forward, and our prayer counselors are going to come forward, and I want you to just stand with us right now. Stand with us right now. I want you to bow your heads and close your eyes. Today, if you've heard this message that the children have shared with us so beautifully in song, if you're trusting in Jesus today as your personal Lord and Savior for the very first time, would you just pray this prayer with me? Just in your heart, silently with the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, I admit to you that I am a sinful person. I've said and done things that are contrary to your will. And I deserve the punishment for my sin. But Jesus, I believe that you took my punishment on the cross. That you died for me in my place so that I could be saved. So, Jesus, I ask you to save me, a sinner. Forgive me for my sin. Make me a new person. I'll spend the rest of my life loving you and serving you. And I pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. We just sing our hymn. Now, this is your opportunity. If you have prayed that prayer and you meant that with all your heart, this is your opportunity to share what the Lord Jesus has done for you. And so let's sing together. And you come as the Lord leads you to come. If you need prayer, you come to the altar. And let's pray together. Our prayer counselors are waiting. Sing this with me. And all to Jesus I surrender and all. To Him I freely give, and I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily live, and I surrender all, and I surrender All to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. And all to Jesus, I surrender and make me Savior holy. And let me feel the Holy Spirit and truly know that Thou art mine and I surrender all and I surrender all and all to Thee my blessed Savior I surrender all. Bow your heads for just a moment. I, I want to pick up on something that these children have shared, and that is that God wants to spend time daily with each and every one of His children. That's you and me if we trusted in Jesus. And so with every head bowed and every eye closed, if you're saying today, I want to reconnect with God and His Word every day. I, I've, I've been away from God's Word. I've been away from time and prayer. And I want to come back to that. I want to renew my commitment to God's Word. Would you just slip your hand up? We don't want to embarrass you. I just want to pray for you. If you're coming to Him, everybody, everybody's eyes closed. Every head bowed. Not to embarrass you, just so we can pray. And then we can commit together. I'm raising my hand because I know I see some hands. I know I need to get into God's Word every day and hear from Him. I see your hands. Let's pray together. 
that God would keep us in His Word every day. Father God, we just know that You love us. We know because Your Word tells us so. But Lord, if we don't spend time in Your Word, we'll easily forget how much You love us and how much You do for us every day. So Lord, I pray for each and every one of Your children to hear clearly from You the words that You speak by getting into Your Word and spending time in prayer with You every day, Lord. So we renew our commitment to that right here and right now. Would you find us faithful? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be, be seated for just a moment more. Brother Chris. Just a quick word as we depart this morning again, of course, as always, our announcements and things that are going on during the week are in your bulletin and printed there and also, of course, on our church website as well. I invite you to go by there uh, during the week again to keep up with what's going on. But just uh, as we leave this morning, uh, who's, is anybody hungry today? Anybody ready for lunch? So it looks like, okay, I think most of you are, so if you eat breakfast or not. But again, we do have that provided for you today. Just a short walk over to the Family Life Center, uh, spaghetti dinner and for sponsored by our students and then also uh, a bake sales something going on behind me okay all right i'll make this quick okay um and melissa's going to say something but just also a bake sale if you've already got uh, dinner in the slow cooker or whatever go over there and get some dessert but again that's to support our students as they go uh to clinton Clinton? Clinton, Mrs. Clinton, Mr. Clinton, Mississippi. Clinton is Alabama, where the peaches are. Clinton is in Mississippi. Clinton, Mississippi, over to Mississippi College for, for their uh, uh, Mission Fuge camp. And again, that's where, uh, again, just to help them out and show our support for our students uh, as they go here in the middle of June for that. So again, I encourage you to go by the Family Life Center uh, and, uh, and support our, our youth. Melissa? I would just like to acknowledge all the ones that helped me. Because if it weren't for them, I would never make it. <laughs> so, <laughs> first of all, I want to recognize my fellow teachers. Um, Margaret Kanarski, thank you so much, Margaret. Come on, stand up. <laughs> and Beverly Fabion, thank you so much, Beverly, for helping me. Um, Glenda Filling Jim and Scott Gerald are up there. I got them up there to help with the sound because that was a lot of work. Thank you so much. They, they need extra clapping. <laughs> and then I have my adult singers up here, Bill Crouch, Marianne Winstead, and Kelly Reed. That helped me out. Then I have Mandy Mandrell. Where are you, Mandy? Oh, she's over cooking type thing. She created the set that you see. So very nice. And our, audio, our whole audio-visual team, including Sue Halfhill, thank you, with all the, the slides. That was a lot of changing. <laughs> Pat and Craig Berry had so much to do with this. Thank you, so, both of you. Ray Winstead, I think he's in the other room helping. Dallas Hansen, thank you for the sound tonight today. And Cody Erskine was also helping, too. So thank you guys, all of you. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. All right. Well, have you stand with me, and we'll pray and, and be dismissed this morning if you stand. Thank you, Melissa. And Melissa, yes. Yeah, so. okay. All right. Father God, we're grateful for the time that we've had to gather together in your house today to, to be led in worship by our children. Father, we know that they're uh, not just the future of the church, but they are the church now, God. And we just, again, are, are grateful for them. We're uh, just, uh, Lord, uh, are thankful for the message, Father, that we've heard this morning, that we can believe that you can change us, that you can change our hearts, God, and that you can redeem us with your grace today father god again we just pray for your blessing upon the the meal today and the hands that prepared it father as we as we go to the family life center now god again just uh, again go with us throughout the week father and just help us to, uh, again just to see people as you see them and to love them as you love them and we pray these things in jesus name amen